Hong Kong situation is really critical, and uh, we are worried that uh, the Chinese Communist Party make use of the evil law to further suppress Hong Kong people. Anti-government protesters are back on the streets of Hong Kong. The reason? Beijing's plan to impose national security laws on the city. Police in right gear fired tear gas, <laughs> sending hundreds scrambling in chaotic scenes reminiscent of last year. Protesters swarmed a popular shopping district where chants rang through the streets. <laughs> and tear gas once again filled the air. The city's former leader says under the new law, China could set up an intelligence agency in Hong Kong. There is a possibility of the central people's government authorizing Hong Kong law enforcement bodies such as the police uh, to enforce this uh, law. The comments give weight to concern among many Hong Kong residents and Western governments that China is tightening its grip over a city that's supposed to rule itself. The Chinese foreign minister Sunday dismissed other countries' condemnation as meddling and said, We must get it done without the slightest delay. But backlash against Beijing intensified this weekend, with the White House's national security adviser warning the proposed legislation could lead to U.S. sanctions and threaten Hong Kong's status as a financial hub. <laughs> Meantime, protesters in Israel showed just how deeply split the country is over Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's corruption trial. I hope it uh, will be strong, very strong for us, for all of us, for all Israel. We love him very much. Hopefully the court is going to make justice and is going to send him to jail. At the start of his trial Sunday, Netanyahu accused the police, prosecutors and media of conspiring to oust him. These investigations were tainted and stitched up from the first moment, he said. Inside the courtroom, the Prime Minister rose just once to confirm he understood the charges, which include fraud, breach of trust and accepting bribes. Netanyahu is the first leader in the country's history to be tried on criminal charges. For City News, I'm Karen Siolin.